I'm Nick Easley, CEO of 3C, based out of Denver, Colorado, nationwide consulting company that helps all different aspects of the industry navigate this. Looking at propane, butane, all these mixed hydrocarbon extractions, I mean, even in Colorado, over 29 people sent to the hospital, all these different things. So we, we have to remember there are many methods of doing extraction, but it's what are the methodologies being implemented? You, granted, you have a vacuum oven, you have these different purge systems, and anytime you're doing a, a hydrocarbon extraction, you're trying to essentially have the London dispersion force that's helping with that process. And no matter what style of butane or mixed hydrocarbon extraction you're doing, it does preserve more terpenes than other avenues of extraction. And it's quick and it's cheap, but it's not regulated and it's being performed currently by a wide variety of players that are not scientists, that came from the basement, that are now growing in an old pickle factory, that got some licenses, and now they bought some machines and then they're filling them up and, and doing these different runs. CO2 takes a lot longer than butane, but butane, it's the operators doing it do not know how to do it appropriately, and the states that are regulating this don't have the guidance from the federal government, from EPA, USDA, FDA, to actually implement standards that states can follow. So right now, states are determining their own standards for this. California is very unique compared to Colorado, Washington, Oregon, and other states. So just like John's question initially, like where is this industry gonna be in a year for extraction? Well, it's not the same as apples, for example, because apples are grown, we have interstate commerce, national laws essentially that pertain to all of that. So it's state by state. So it's hard to say exactly where this will be long term. We will see, though, that as new avenues of your industry, this high-level scientific industry joins our industry and we create truly our new industry, which we need all sides, we will see a lot of the propane, butane, all of that go away. We'll see a lot of these newer technologies of cryogenic flash freezing to preserve terpene profiles and so forth. Why would I want to grow a plant, let's say organically, which is a hard word to use currently, and then shoot butane on it? Because back in the day, you know, you'd, you'd see these tubes and they kind of look like a big two-foot glass dildo. It has like a hole on one side, you pack it full of plant material, you put a little screen on it and I'm smoking my cigarette over here and then I just, I take a butane like canister that's used for filling lighters and I spray it on the plant material and I get this goo and then I whip it and then I sell it and I make a lot more. I could sell a wholesale pound for 15 to 2,500 or I could turn that extract from that pound into over $10,000 of product. Is it safe? Is it quality? Is it consistent? Is it totally purged? Absolutely not under current standards. Even the leading players in this game that are exercising those levels of extraction compared to ethanol, CO2, subcritical and supercritical, that, that has a lot to do with it. Right, and, and right now, so many different players, they essentially, they're, they're extracting off of dry plant material. Terpenes are very, very important, and some groups are trying to think of how we can isolate terpenes and then reintroduce those to different extracted products to make them better. I say, if you're doing this off of flash frozen, for example, fresh plant material has usually about 20% of a terpene profile. Once that material's dried, over 60% is usually lost during the drying and curing process, or lack thereof curing in our industry. <laughs> so why would I want to grow a plant, dry that plant, spend all the time to shuck it, trim it, turn this into different products, and then extract it? Why wouldn't I want to extract it at the peak potency, peak terpene profile, and use the most efficient, safest technologies to implement extracted products? And extracts are not just these hashes and so forth for vape pens. Some markets, flour is less than 30% of all sales in that state. So you know you have extracted vape pens, edibles, topicals, tinctures, infused edible sex panties, you name it. There are a wide variety of products being made from these extracts. So you have to specifically know your target market, what they want, and then how to infuse these products in the most efficient, safe, and compliant manner. It's not so much, though, is, is butane or but BHO extraction safe. It's the methodology that's currently being utilized to do those extraction and the operators, the training, or lack thereof. Because right now, most extraction engineers in the cannabis industry don't even have a BA, don't really understand what they're trying to do, what, what a solvent does, how it's working. So it could be done safely if it's regulated and designed properly, but currently, what we advise our clients to do is even one of our large mixed hydrocarbon extractors start to think about other things that you can do because as the industry does start to crack down state by state on some of these extraction, once they start to learn more about this, you can set your business up for success if you're not exclusively BHO. So starting to do more CO2, more subcritical, more supercritical, doing different ethanol, flash freezing extractions, rosin pressing, 
that's where you'll see the sustainability of this industry. Essentially, if you were to design a system through lean manufacturing, understand what's your end goal. Like I'm trying to make extracts for a vape pen that's going to be infused with vitamin E oil or PG or glycol or some sort of solution. What am I, what's my end goal? And then design my system for that instead of I'm growing, I'm doing this, I'm extracting, I didn't do very well, now I need to clean that, now I'm going to process that, now I have to winterize that, what's my shelf? All those problems, it's through proper design, I don't think much of that would be needed in the future.